All right, our second topic in this chapter is solving systems of equations. And you've done this before. Um, you know, hopefully you recognize this little bracket here. And in Algebra 1, um, you would have three ways of solving systems of equations. Now, your systems in Algebra 1 were just lines. So when you were graphing, you're like, oh, here's my line, here's my other line. It's where they intersect. That's your solution to your system of equations. It's the one place that satisfies both equations, right? Like the point that basically makes both equations true. Um, if you had it set up like this and you had like say 2x plus 3y equals 4 and x minus y equals 5, remember you could do things like substitution. You could move this y over to the other side and that way you'd have an equation solved for x and you would take that equation that's solved for x and plug it in for x. Or you could do something else, like let's say multiply this whole row by 3. That way this part would become negative 3y, and then you'd add them together, and these would cancel, and you'd do it like that. That would be um, linear combinations, all right? So we're going to do those, those couple of them here, mostly just substitution and also graphing. All right, so I need you to remember this. Um, normally what, what's been going on is you've been being asked for a solution. You've been asked for solutions. So when you have one single graph, um, and we've basically done parabolas so far, solutions are going to be your x-intercepts. Because remember, solutions, roots, zeros, x-intercepts. Those are the solutions when you have one problem to deal with. All right, so this parabola, the solutions would be x equals 2 and 4. Okay, whereas when you start to get two equations, it changes. No longer do I even care about my x-intercepts. I don't care. The solution to this system of equations are the points where they intersect, okay? And so those would be, um, my solutions would be, um, let's see, negative one and two. And you name the whole coordinate. Sometimes people will ask you, oh, what are the x values or what are the y values? But usually if you ask just plain old solution, you're like, okay, let me name the whole coordinate. All right, what's that? Two, five. Okay. All right. Now, um, so this next problem is the same exact problem up here. So basically this one right here, this is the graph of those two things. I'm going to show you how to do this with, um, to do it algebraically. So both of these equations are solved for y. So that means that they're both equal to y, they're both equal to each other. So I'm going to set it up like that to basically do substitution. I'm going to basically be putting this, um, I guess substituting this right here, all right? So I get x plus 3 equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 5. And so now I just have a quadratic equation to solve with all any of my methods that I know. Quadratic formula, factoring, square roots, things like that. All right, now for I see x squared and I see x's, so I'm going to try to factor this to see if it works. And, you know, I know it works because it has these nice pretty answers and it's the same problem as earlier. But if I plan on doing these things, um, I'm going to want my x squared positive. So I'm going to be moving this over to the left side. So I have positive x squared. This 2x needs to go together with that one. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1x. And then minus 5 to bring that over. So minus 2. Okay. All right. So we're going to factor, or try to at least, x and x. Well, multiplies the 2. All I have is 2 and 1, so I'll put that. It's a negative 2, so 1's positive, 1's negative. And if I make this negative and a plus, I'm going to check that out. I got 1x and minus 2x. So, yep, that makes negative 1x like I want. So my solutions are 2 and negative 1, just like you saw me getting over here. All right, and so then your only job left to do is this, is take 2 and negative 1, plug them in for x and get your y values. So you want to pick the easiest one. If I plug 2 into this top problem, look, I'll have to plug it there and there. That's annoying. Just plug 2 into here. Plug negative 1 into there and get the answers. Okay? So plugging 2 in, I get 5. Plugging negative 1 in, I get 2, just like we got before. All right, so you can also, um, if you have your equations, you can also put them, you know, in Desmos. So there they are in Desmos. And so then it's really easy to kind of, you know, Click on the uh, intersections, okay? Um, now, on your calculator, is a little bit harder, but you see I've entered, oh my gosh, oh, okay, good. That was just my pen. All right, good. So I've entered that in there. Let me do zoom six for my regular picture. 
What? Graph. What's going on here? I need to turn my screen. No. All right. What's going on with this calculator? Oh, oh goodness gracious. There it is. Okay. All right. So it doesn't look exactly, but the buttons are the same. So to get your calculator to tell you where these two things intersect, let me do zoom six. Okay, that's it. Oh, what you're going to do is you want this calculate word underneath trace. It's a blue word. So you want to do second, calculate, which is trace. And we want to do number five, which is intersect. So you can go down to it or you can just press the five. And you see the little blinker right there. So the blinker is kind of close to that intersection on the left. So basically, once you're close to a place, um, you basically just press enter three times. Oh, this one's a little bit different, sorry. Okay, so this one here is a little bit different. Second calculate, number five. It wants the left side, so okay, I am to the left of this intersection, and then it wants the right side, so I am to the right of that intersection. Now, normally on your calculator, you just press enter three times and it does it for you, but we'll deal with it. Okay. Hmm. This one is not acting correctly. Oh yeah, there it is, intersection, negative one, two. Okay, all right, and so if I want the other one, second calc, number five. This time I'm gonna go over close to the other one. The left side of it is right about there. The right side of it is over here. And there's my intersection, two, five. Like I said though, on your calculator, on your handheld one, you just press enter three times, but you do have to be closest to the intersection that you want. Okay. All right. Okay, let's do this one last one um, using our algebraic methods and um, see what we get. So this problem right here, um, I'm gonna do substitution. Um, addition method doesn't really work well for these type of systems unless everything's lined up like super well. Um, so I'm just gonna do substitution, it's basically the same. But to do substitution, I have to have something solved for x or y. And so I like to solve this one down here for y. I'm gonna pop that x over to the other side. So y equals three minus x, that x would change to a negative when it moves over. I don't really care how it looks because all I'm gonna do is be putting that right there. All right, so I have three minus x plus five x equals two x squared minus three. So again, I have x's, x squareds and x's, so I'm gonna factor this. So let's clean this up. So it's three plus four x equals 2x squared minus 3, because these two things go together. All right, and I'm going to move everything to the right. So I get 2x squared. This 4x is going to come next. It's going to be negative 4x. And minus 3, minus 3 means I have minus 6. Okay, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, factor this. But I do notice everything divides by 2. So instead of pulling out a 2, since this is an equation, I can just divide everything by 2 and make my, make my life easier. 0 divided by 2 is 0, so I still have x squared minus 2x minus 3. All right, so x and x, 3 and 1, negative 3 plus 1. And there's my answers. x is 3 and negative 1. So remember your solutions, though, they want like the whole points, or somebody would want that. So I have 3 to start and negative 1 to start. And I think I'm going to plug it right into here. So 3 minus 3 is uh, 0, and 3 minus negative 1 would be 4. And there's my solutions. All right, and there you have it. Bye-bye.